Hello everyone, welcome again and in this video I'm going to show you demonstration of an NGO management application in Java Spring Boot and again it's a web application and it's using a Spring Boot as a backend and this front end is using HTML, CSS, JSP, JSTL and Bootstrap uh to store the information the back end that's using mysql database so this is mysql workbench that have tables like application donate money donors and donate things the feedback fundraise and user under the user table uh, we have three types of user id uh, user rules admin donor and volunteers so uh you will get the data here so these are the tables in case you want to view the data of the table just right click on it so the first option you will get the data over there now in the, like uh, here i'm going to run the application i'm going to show you how each and every functionalities are working into the application and if you are going to take this project from code one then you have to follow this demo in order to run the application so um uh, in order to run the application, like if you are already taken this project from Code One, our team will make sure the project will working fine at your machine. We'll do the complete configuration, and after the configuration, we'll leave the project in this state. After that, you need to follow these uh, steps in order to run or execute the application. So to run this, just open this first package in Geo Management, and here you will find the application file, Spring Boot application. Right click on it, go to Run as run as it is a java application and you will see some console log uh, some logs in the console it will say uh, it will start your tomcat server on a specific port number the given port number is 8080 in this currently configuration so you can see the tomcat is started on 8080 after that you need to go in this src under uh, in the, the src main resource and then you have to open this application under property file and here we have commented one url this copy this url open your browser enter the url you will find the view of the application as a home page and now you will see this is the home page of the application here we have some static images and the content for the application and uh, we have a header footer and login page and sign up. Okay, so for the login, we have three types of user into the login. We have admin, we have uh, donors, we have uh, volunteers. So we will log in one by them, one by one of uh, all of them, and we'll show you how the things are working over there. And in order to register the application, in order to register into the application, what we need to do, you can fill up this form and register as a new. User. So let's say I'm going to register here. So if I click directly on the save, you can see it's so using proper validation. So it's showing error to me. Now again, I go to the sign up and enter the meaning, meaningful data. So let's say new user and I'm going to give a email as a new user at the gmail.com and some password as a demo at the rate 123. The mobile number, any 10 digit phone number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Select gender here. Enter the ID proof, unique ID. So I just uh, like you can say the um, other number or some unique uh, ID proof that I've added here. It says we need to upload the profile picture, but uh, let me check if I have some profile pictures. Uh, I'm adding some dummy image quickly and uh, you can add the meaningful images over there. So let's say I'm going to add this profile picture over here and DOV. So let's say I just it's showing me 1993. So let's move to quickly on 93 20. Okay, role should be uh, we can select we can register as a donor or volunteer. So I can select it from here. Let me click onto the save button. It says user registered successfully. Now if I view my database and check, a new record will be registered as a donor. Nice. Now, similarly, uh, you can fill up this form, select here as a volunteer, so you can register as a volunteer. Now let's log in as all the users and see what this user can do over there. So I'm first I'm going to log in as an admin, then we'll go by the other user. So I to log in into as a uh, 
admin i just need to the admin username and the password that is available into my database so i just hit the login button and you can see when i click on the user list all the user registered user recently we have registered this user that is showing here i can delete this user if required by just clicking on this delete icon and uh, uh, let's 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 delete one donor so i'm going to delete it so it's deleted now the application list let's say any volunteer going to raise a application it will be displayed here with a name qualification and all the details and we have a, as an admin we have option to uh, cancel or confirm this applications and apart from that we have a donate money list so anyone is going to donate here the data will be displayed here and we have a multiple options here to search it to delete it in case the data is reached to more than 10 records it will perform the next and previous button as well another feedback list if anyone going to give a feedback will display here and the fundraiser under the fundraiser list the raised fund will be displayed over here we can search the fundraiser by name and here into we have two sections uh, your donor can donate money or things uh, apart from that we have change password my profile and let's say so here i am going to log in as a donor again and uh, let's say uh, now i'm going to log in as a donor so i'm just going to create a private uh, like uh, opening the application on a private window and here i'm going to register again as a new user so we can don register as by that user so i'm quickly adding our dummy data over there while you operating you can add a meaningful data i have just deleted that record otherwise i can edit again so unique id let's say choose profile picture again i'm going to choose first profile only and select any date of birth okay select as a donor okay register successfully now if i view my table i can see the new register record is there and this is the login id and this is the password so here in this window i just log in as a donor you can see the check mark is like like i uh, the name of the user in uh, showing a donor and here i'm logging in as a admin so let's see what a donor can do over there donor can donate money so let's say i'm a donor it's taking my name and email by default i need to enter my account details from which i want to donate i need to enter the ifsc code and enter you money you want to donate uh, so let's say i want to donate 5000 and the banking name click on the save when i click on the save uh, at the time the admin can check the donated money and it will display here now i can search this record my name as well here and when i hit the reset it will automatically reflect it again similarly i can donate things let's say i want to donate food and click on the save as donated when i click on the donate donate things list you will see uh, this person is going to donate a food similarly we can perform other operations like delete search okay all the crude operations will be there and apart from that as a donor i can give a feedback um, so let's say this is this is some dummy text I'm entering as a feedback. So this feedback saved successfully. Now this user will get the feedback list over here, and the fundraiser will display here. The fundraiser will be a volunteer to anyone as a what. So now in this private window, I'm going to log out as a donor and let's log in as a volunteer so this user is a volunteer so i'm going to log in by this you can register as a new user as well uh, as a volunteer but i'm going to use the existing username password to log in and here we have an option to add the application so i just adding my address and the qualification let's say mba and mba and i'm going to add according to your skill we can add some text over here information and it says the application is already exists for this volunteer so we have to uh, come again with a new user 
and uh, we have to apply like this user is already applied for this volunteer so let me log in and let me log out and register as a new volunteer over here so i just enter new then I think this is also there, so I'm just adding a new over there. And select gender, unique ID. Quickly, I'm going to write this image now. Let of birth, any date of birth, select role. This time it will be a volunteer. So save successfully. Now if I go here, refresh the database, I can see the new records. So now I'm going to log in with this volunteer and this volunteer will going to log in into the application and now we can add up application. This application will be displayed to the admin. So you can see apply application successfully. Now if I view the application, the application will be displayed here as a sign. And I can view the transaction for the other users and view feedbacks and the fundraiser. Let's say I'm going to add a fundraiser of, of, of 90,000. Click save. So now, uh, other option we have a change password in my profile. Now, if we view through the admin section and to the admin section, what I can check, I can check the application list. So, this is a list that is raised by any volunteer, any new volunteer. So, I can click on this accept icon and I can confirm this uh, application. And apart from that, I can cancel it as I can cancel it as well. So, the status will be updated as a cancel. Apart from this, if I check the fundraiser thing, so here we have a fundraiser of 90,000. Okay, so, this uh, user can um, pay for this one race. Okay, so that's all about the NGO management and it's being good. So, this is an academic project for the college students so or someone who is preparing for interviews. And if you want to learn the complete development and understand the internal architecture of the application, so how we how we are following uh, like what is the controller, DAO videos, and exception forms, how we exactly develop the application. You can join our explanation or a training program and it's available so in that way we will teach you uh, overflow of the application internet core or core architecture as well so we will be easily understand how the things are working and going to uh, there and uh, this project is following all the industry uh, standards so while you're working on a real-time project and any any organization you will uh, follow you need to follow the same architecture over there as well so it will give you a brief idea about that so also i want to clear out some things like these projects are paid so if you need to connect like you can connect us over the whatsapp email or skype and some links are available into the description box you can refer that links to get more detail about the project from the cool one thank you